everybody, and welcome to my fourth video on drawing New Mexico's ecosystems. In this video, I'm drawing the LitVec Labs JSAF site, which is short for Juniper Savanna. As you might have guessed, this site is dominated by juniper trees, in particular the one seed juniper, Juniperus monosperma. This site sits east of the Manzanos near the town of Mountain Air. And while close to the Pino and Juniper woodland, it sits at an elevation of 1930 meters or 6,300 feet, which is about 250 meters or 1,000 feet lower than the Pino and Juniper woodland. This site has slightly lower precipitation values, getting 360 millimeters or 14 inches, while the Pino and Juniper woodland received closer to 385 millimeters or 15 inches. In addition, the site sees higher temperatures, getting an annual temperature of 15.2 degrees Celsius with a summer average of 23 degrees Celsius and a winter average of three degrees Celsius, leading to fewer freezes and higher summer temperatures than the Pino and Juniper woodland receives. You can see me drawing in clouds. This picture was taken in September there's large fluffy cumulus clouds on the horizon. You can also see me drawing in the flux tower. The lab has one of these towers at each of the sites. It's necessary for the tower to be above the dominant vegetation to measure how gases are exchanged between the plants and the atmosphere at these sites. The tower has instruments that measure precipitation, wind speeds, temperature, and gas fluxes. And it sends these sites to UNM so that the lab can collect data at half hourly intervals. You can see me drawing in the large juniper bushes. And the juniper here look quite a bit different than they do at the Pinon site. They're larger and bushier, while the Pinon juniper forest, they're thinner, more twisted and gnarled, with more clearly seen trunks. While the Pino and Juniper site receives some of its moisture in the winter snowfall, this site receives the majority of its moisture during summer monsoon seasons. In addition to the Juniper, the dominant vegetation are grasses, including blue grama and black grama. And while cows haven't been allowed on this site for many years, it did once serve as a grazing site and is still owned part of, as part of a ranch. I also chose this picture to show the work that we do at the sites. I wanted to add two lab techs or field workers. On this day, we were measuring the dimensions of these juniper trees. The goal is to estimate the biomass of the site by measuring the sizes of these trees to see how much carbon is stored in this ecosystem. We measure the height and width of each trees and use allometric equations to calculate how big they are. We've been doing this for as long as the lab has been in session, so we can get an idea of how these trees are growing or dying and seeing how the entire ecosystem is adapting. The fact that this site receives higher temperatures and lower precipitation shows what the Pinon Juniper site might look like in the future due to climate change. With the death of pinyons due to bark beetles and higher temperatures and lower precipitation rates, it's quite possible that junipers may become the dominant species at that site. And that at 50 years, it may look something more like this. 